Hello all my fellow cripples and able-bodied riders, I'm Gimpy Rob and this is the Gimpy Garage. Today I'm going to do something just a little bit different. I'm going to talk about the shortcomings of this beautiful machine. I like to call them the Dick Move Awards. I absolutely love my 2016 Spider F3 Limited SS. It is one of the most beautiful machines I've ever seen. But as with any relationship, it does have its shortcomings. So nothing major, but the couple little pet peeves that it does draws me a little crazy to the point that if this trike was Tina Turner and I was Ike Turner, I'd be bouncing its ass all over the walls. But hey, that's neither here nor there. I'm not a violent man. So let's cut back to a couple episodes ago to the first pet peeve of mine with this trike. Yeah, you guessed it, the Mustang seat replacement in my favorite air bladder for air ride suspension. It's the first time in my life I met a nipple I didn't like. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. This guy right here, it's a nipple. I love saying the word nipple, but seriously, this is a Schrader valve for the airbag that is on the rear suspension. Now, really nice ride, it's an amazing machine, but BRP, seriously, you guys really, really shit the bed. That bladder or whatever controls the, the air shock here, I'm losing a good five to seven pounds of air per every eight or nine days. I don't know what BRP was thinking. They, they must have been putting the, the, the limited together and they said, oh crap, Ted, we forgot to put the air ride suspension in there. And Ted goes, I got an idea. Well, you know what, Ted? You came up with a crappy idea. You suck, Ted. Hmm, those nipples will get you every time, right? Anyway, moving along, this next one, I'm sure a lot of you have experienced. It's the gas cap on our F3s. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with it, but uh, man, it pisses me off sometimes. Actually, it ruined a good opportunity for me. When, well, what I think is a good opportunity. I just gotten out of a relationship and I'm cruising along, you know, and I'm having a good time. And I pull up to a stoplight and there's a beautiful girl next to me. I mean, she was really like, wow. So we start talking at the light, start flirting back and forth. Seems like she likes me. I don't know, maybe she has brain damage or something. But um, it's been known to happen. Some women like me, seriously. No, don't look at me like that. Some women like me. Anyway, so I had to get gas. So I was, you know, flirting back and forth. Hey, want to go for a ride sometime and everything? And oh, kidding around back and forth. So anyway, take off and pull into the gas station. And uh, yeah, you know what happened next. Okay, in a perfect world, you pull up to a gas pump, you fill your machine with gasoline, and then you shut the gas cap, and then you go about on your way, right? Well, if you live in my world in the Can-Am, it's not quite simple. Now, there's a lot of people out there that they'll push down and keep turning that key until you hear a click. You don't want to do that, at least I don't want to do that because the key's made of metal. I know that the key is probably going to break under a lot of torque. So what I do is I make sure that the key is completely in the open position and I don't slam, but I push it down with a little bit of force and then I get up, I push down with my thumbs until I hear a click and then key comes out, everything's fine. So honestly, when that girl pulled into the gas station that time, it didn't quite go this well. It went a little bit like this. You piece of shit, why won't you close? Why won't you just fucking close? Close, you mother I swear to Christ, I'm gonna get you home and I'm gonna fuck you right up your fucking ass. You, hey, you wanna go for that ride now? So that opportunity, along with a lot of my other hopes and dreams, got flushed right down the toilet, but what are you gonna do? Anyway, moving along now to my next problem with this trike, the K&M turn signals. Okay, before I talk about the turn signals, has anyone read that safety card more than once, if at all? I mean, seriously, are there people out there that really read that card before every time they start their machine up? How do you get anywhere? I, I picture people still in their driveway reading. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I've been riding motorcycles and now a trike a total of 25 years. If I don't know how to operate these machines by now, I have no business being out on the road. But some would argue that I don't have any business being out there anyway. But either way, uh, I, I, ha I don't have the engine running right now because it's winter time. And you never want to run your engine unless you're going to ride it for at least about 25, 30 minutes or so because you're gonna get a buildup of condensation and that's gonna stay in your engine. So turn signals, you have a button here 
on your, your hand grip for your turn signals. Pretty standard, right? So, whew, that was the horn. Captain Obvious. I have a very loud horn because people are a-holes. Now, my heart just jumped out of my throat and my butthole got really, really tight. Mm. Give me a second. Whew. Okay, anyway, so now the turn signals are located dangerously close to the horn as we just found out. Like I said, I'm a jackass. You'll learn to live with it. Many people have. But anyway, so here's the turn signals. Turn to the left. Oh, we're going left. Turn right. Okay, cool, now we're going right, awesome. Now, but when I'm going down the road, I could see this in my garage, I can't see it in the bright sunlight or when I'm going down the road at speed, so that's not the, the big problem. The big problem here is go to turn these off. You're supposed to just push in. Well, it went off that time, of course, but you're supposed to just push in and they're supposed to just, see now they're going off because, see, it knows I'm filming. Sometimes this trike can be a real dick, but anyway, Let's try it again because the third time is going to be the charm. So I'm going left. I'm going right. Now I go to shut it off and, yep, yeah, see, I'm still going right. Or, or, oh, wait, no, hang on, hang on. Uh, now I'm going left. So it's the biggest pain in the ass operating these turn signals. So let me see. You got to push it dead center. Oh, see, it went off now. But anyway, I know you guys hate your turn signals as well. I came up with a great solution. I went back to using hand signals. I remembered from when I was 16 years old taking my permit test, stop, right, left. I use all the hand signals, but my favorite hand signal of all is, you're going too slow in the left lane, move. I'll never ever forget that one. All right, the next thing I really don't like about this, well, it's not really don't like, it, it took a lot of getting used to, but it's this throttle by wire. I mean, this is really sensitive. It has zero play in it. So the minute you pull it, you're going. And I found out the hard way. It was St. Patrick's Day and uh, I decided to go for a ride because it was beautiful out. I just got in the trike, it was about 48 hours old. And I'm sitting at the stoplight in the turn lane, I'm looking around, I'm like, God, the weather's beautiful, this machine is beautiful, I can't believe I got this. I was still in gear. Yeah, you know what's coming. But my foot was on the brake, so I'm kind of leaning forward like this and my arm's on the throttle, I'm not thinking of anything. All of a sudden, I feel the machine start to shake and Vibram, I'm like, what the hell is going on with this thing? It's brand new, it, it, it's broken already. And all of a sudden I lurch forward and I rear end the woman in front of me. Yeah, yeah. it's funny now when I think about it, but back then I was kind of like. Anyway, I stopped screaming once I lifted my visor and started talking to her. She was really, really hot and I, you know, I don't want to be sexist or anything, but if you're gonna mess up badly, Mess up with a hot woman because seriously, it makes the experience a lot better and a lot easier than hitting an ugly person. No offense to ugly people out there. But she was really cool, her husband was really cool, the cop that showed up was really cool, so aside from my you know, front grill being destroyed, it was a pretty awesome experience. But anyway, the trike went back to the dealership waiting on repairs and I could joke about it now, but honestly, I've learned to really respect this throttle and every time I'm at a stoplight, I put it in neutral, I keep my foot on the brake, just in case. Hopefully you guys could learn from my situation. And this month's Dick Move Award goes to... The Gas Cap! All right. Woo yeah. You are by far the biggest piece of shit I've ever met in my life, seriously. Like, they're all workarounds, I showed you the thing with the thumbs, there's talk on the internet about, you know, lubing up the gasket or doing different things to it. There's also some people that talk about contacting your dealer and maybe getting BRP to replace it on the warranty. But seriously, I mean, they're all workarounds to get it to work, but nothing is more frustrating than when you're on a long trip and you're at the gas pump and you just want to get back out there and ride and you have a problem. Sometimes it's even worse when you think you're going to have a problem. You might not have it, but thinking about it really, really causes a lot of stress and nausea for me. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this with your friends. And honestly, I love doing this, so I know I keep saying that, but I really, really do. And I really appreciate you guys stopping by and having some fun with me. Have a great day.